Hurricanes tend to weaken as they approach land, but in some cases, the exact opposite occurs. An example of that was in 2018 when Hurricane Michael rapidly strengthened in the Gulf of Mexico right up to landfall on the Florida Panhandle as a Category 5 hurricane. Not only is a rapidly strengthening storm dangerous, but it's very difficult to forecast. If you got a minute this morning, let's take a look at a new study that has identified a key component to rapid intensification, hopefully improving our ability to forecast it. A hurricane feeds on the heat of the ocean, and normally the hottest water is at the surface of the ocean. As a hurricane moves through, winds and rain churn the water as it goes, bringing cooler water from beneath while pushing the warmer surface water down. Cooler water can not only work to weaken the initial storm, but it can also potentially weaken another hurricane if it moves over the same area. But we're learning that's not necessarily what happened in 2018. Tropical Storm Gordon moved through the Gulf of Mexico about a month before Hurricane Michael, but immediately following Gordon, there was a strong heat wave that warmed the cooler ocean water that Gordon had brought to the surface. So you had recharged water at the ocean surface and warm water lurking below, meaning an almost endless supply of fuel for an incoming hurricane to rapidly strengthen, which is exactly what happened with Michael. This understanding of weather patterns seems to be key in unlocking the potential for a storm to quickly grow into a monster. We saw a similar mix play out this year where hurricanes Laura and Sally were both preceded by smaller storms and combined with the warmer than normal summer conditions, which likely made for ideal conditions for Laura and Sally to intensify right before landfall. Ooh.